So I'll let Naeem kind of give us a glimpse and lay the foundation of some of the things that have been done on a federal level that will become the foundation of this going forward as well. I used to be a venture capitalist in Silicon Valley and I came back to Pakistan to teach people how to meditate and self-realization. And with me, I brought one of the great yogis of the world, his name is Shri Shri Ravi Shankar, to come with me. When he came to Pakistan, he was blown away by it. When we took him to Takshila, he said, this is where the ancient books of Ayurveda and the Vedas were written, right? And the whole Indus Valley civilization is the sort of the, the learning and the knowledge base of the whole, the yogic civilization, the Buddhist civilization. And so I initially had tried to work towards that as well. Then, I, you know, while I was doing the teaching, I also joined uh, Mobilink and it was owned by the Oriscom Group, which we have uh, 18 right here represented. Mm -hmm. And my boss, Nagib Suarez, also owned a major stake in, in Egypt, in a place called Sharm el Sheikh, which is mm -hmm. a long strip. So I worked with him on a project to build a Sharm el Sheikh on the Pakistan coastline, right? Ah, we wanted an 80 square kilometer strip to build a private airport and a whole series of resorts on, 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 the, on our Pakistan, Balochistan coastline. Again, the biggest challenge, that was Musharraf era. Musharraf was very supportive, but the challenge was getting land, right? Because of a lot of uh, local body authorities. Again, the government's changed, you know, things changed over the years. But then, you know, come to now, right? When I was in, in, the, in the government, Board of Investment, a couple of things we started talking about. One of the first things was to rename the Islamabad Airport as the Gandhara International Airport. Yeah. And make Islamabad the regional hub, right? For the new knowledge economy, uh, where there are already eight universities, a very highly educated manpower. It's at the, the crossroads of Central Asia, Western China, massive opportunity, right? And, and Pakistan. And this has been a seat of learning for thousands and thousands of years. So making Islamabad is a regional hub for conventions, for learning, for the knowledge economy, as General Khalid mentioned, was really the vision around why we built a very large airport as well. This mm. airport has been built to take 30 million passengers, uh, to scale to easily 30 million passengers wow. and make this a major regional hub. The other thing we did was the special economic zones that we were developing, right, in Pakistan. They're not only industrial zones. For example, Gilgit Baltistan, the idea is to make the special economic zone a tourist zone, right, to create, give major tax incentives and facilities to de develop, you know, in those special economic zones, resorts and entertainment facilities. So it can be expanded, do much, much more. I think the, the policy infrastructure is in place. It now just needs to be taken advantage of and built upon. 